The Children's Water Camp is run by the Women Gender Water Network out of the Institute for Gender and Development Studies at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine Campus. The Women Gender Water Network, or the WGWN as it is also known, is a group of researchers as well as practitioners from governmental and non-governmental organizations and community members from Trinidad and Tobago and across the Caribbean region. The WGWN emerged out of the experience of a research project, the Nariva Swamp, a gendered case study in wetland resource management, which was carried out by the CGDS St. Augustine 1998-2000 as part of the wider regional research program of the IGDS entitled Gender, Science and Technology. The WGWN creates opportunities for training and sharing of knowledge within the field of women, water and gender studies and thus bringing researchers and practitioners closer together in solving the challenges related to gender, water use and management. One of the goals of the network is to positively influence understanding, attitudes and behaviours in regard to water and water use. The continuation of the Children's Water Vacation Camp is seen as a powerful tool in reaching its goals and ensuring that children become good stewards of our water resources. The Children's Vacation Camp is a two-week programme that was carried out in three areas. Matlot, Beach and the Carcass. The camp provides a fun, safe, interactive environment that easily facilitates learning. A wide variety of tools is used to ensure that each camper leaves with an appreciation for water and the environment. These tools include songs, videos, movies, art, games, field trips, crafts, experiment, plays and community projects. The field trips for the 2011 camps varied between fun with water and education for climate and the environment. The field trip locations included Harry's Water Park in Tabakit, Water Fun Splash in Deby, the De Freitas Ranch in Valencia and the Caroni Swamp, the UE St. Augustine campus and the Meteorological Office in Piaco. The theme of the 2011 camp was Climate Change, My Community and Me. One of the activities included a community walk where they fully explored and examined the various areas and resources found in their community. After their walk and exploration, the campers made a map of their community allowing them to have a greater appreciation of where they live. This map highlighted unique aspects of their community including key buildings, landmarks, trees and water resources. The kids were also asked to locate their homes on this map thereby placing themselves and their families within the community. This activity was conducted to allow campers and facilitators alike to foster a greater understanding and appreciation for the community. They had a number of activities which focused on the weather, climate and climate change, such as videos, art, movies and many more which were used to educate and inform the campers and to engage in discussion about these important topics. They also made meteorological instruments such as the rain gauge and others which allowed them to measure temperature and relative humidity. The Matlot campers in particular visited the meteorological office where they observed the work of recording and predicting our weather. A large number of games were played during the camp such as River Lime, Puzzle Wars, Musical Chairs, Have You Ever, River Bank Bridge, Follow the Leader, and many others. One of the most popular games was I Survived the Water Camp, where the campers were asked to answer a number of questions on behalf of their team and had to do outrageous things if they could not answer. The campers from each camp also selected a community project which aimed at educating and beautifying the community. The Matlot camp selected a choral speaking piece and song about climate change and went into reciting it to educate their community members about it. The beach community depends heavily on wells for water. The campers from beach selected a beautification of a well in their community. The Akakas campers performed a play on the effects of climate change for their community. The camp also focused on water quality. 
This water quality testing activity was sponsored by the Chemistry Department of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Campus through the donation of water quality testing kits. The campus were able to collect water samples from various water sources in their community and these were tested for nitrate nitrogen, phosphorus, dissolved oxygen, pH levels, turbidity, temperature and coliform bacteria. This allowed education about water quality parameters as well as a greater understanding for the effect of pollution on water quality. The success of the children's water vacation camp came from observing the campers have fun while learning as they became more aware about climate change and now have greater respect for their community and understand how climate change is not a concept out there somewhere but how it can and does affect them at a very personal level. The aim of the camp is not only to provide campers with knowledge but to try to instill values and to see their attitudes, behavior and respect to the environment change.